Hey guys, it's Laura Lee. It's another episode of Full Minute Alchemist Brotherhood, and I'm very tired. I feel like that's all I say whenever I start doing a reaction anymore, but, but geez, I am so sleepy. I just got back from two different trips, and I'm having to start packing to move again. It's just been a very long week, and it's going to be another very long week, and I'm just... Mm. But I need to watch this show. Not just for you guys, because I know some of you guys are concerned that I keep watching all these when I look exhausted or whatever, but for me too, I want to watch it. So, a few things before I get into this episode. Firstly, I will be moving this week, so videos might go up at weird times, or I might have to skip a day on some videos, or things will just be a little different, because I'll be very busy trying to pack up my life. And hope you guys understand. I'm not even sure if this video is going to come out on time. I hope it does, but we'll see. I'm also thinking of vlogging my moving experience for your entertainment. I don't know how entertaining that would be. Second, odds are my sister is not going to be coming back for more episodes of Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood. Like I said, I've, I've wanted to be on other shows that I'm going to do. And I don't think Fullmetal Alchemist is really her style, in terms of reacting at least. And finally... I can't believe I'm having to say this again, but I feel like it's time to renew the talk on spoilers. Do not give me spoilers. I don't want to hear about anything that happens beyond the episode that I've just watched. That includes recommending episodes, saying, oh, I can't wait for you to watch this episode. That, that means I will look out for the episode and be wary of when I watch it and it takes away from a real reaction. It also includes any questions I might ask during a video. Assume that any question I pose during a video is rhetorical. I don't want it answered. I'm just wondering to myself. So, that being said, let's get into Fulminant Alchemist Brotherhood. This is episode 12. I'm so damn tired. This guy. Is this their dad? I bet it's their dad. Yep. I figured because he's in the intro a lot. Long time no see. Good to see you. You've grown up a little, huh? He's pushing me. You probably don't recognize me, but it's Alphonse. Sorry we've been away so long. Looks like you've grown up more than a little. No one's patted my head like this since back before I lost my Ow. I guess she hasn't gotten any better since last time. <laughs> Holy cow. Hello, my stupid pupil. I hear you've become one of the military's dogs. Look at you, you've gotten so big. <sighs> Teacher, <laughs> it's really good to see you. Adorable. Too. The mother 
mother was so brave. Everyone's blessed when a baby's born, huh? Yes, that's right. That same miracle brings us all into this world. Always take pride in the lives that were given you. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I forgot she doesn't use a transmutation circle either. One way to learn, I guess. Bye. How are we supposed to eat it? Kill it. Kill it. I love bunnies. That is adorable. Good lesson. Let's hear what you've learned. Now the real training starts. <laughs> about it. She's awesome. Let's see. If you think about it a certain way, I myself am the Matrix. How do you do it? Tell us, teacher. Perhaps it's something you learn when you see the truth. Mm. Our teacher has seen the truth, too. Yeah, she's seen it. What did she give up, though? Mm -hmm. On top of which, Al is now a suit of armor, and two of your limbs are made from auto mail. Teacher, how did you know? Please, I can tell from sparring with you. You saw it. Teacher, you saw it too. Could you 
did you tell me? Is that what I think it was? When we were finally able to conceive, I ended up falling gravely ill. And our child as well. He was not able to take a living breath in this world. And so, I, feeling. I committed the taboo. As a result, I lost parts of my inner organs. Mm. What an idiot I was. I did it to myself, after all. It hasn't been that big a deal, actually. Besides, now I've got this long list of things I get to look forward to eating when I have my body back. Right, brother? Yeah, it's nothing. You dumb little idiots. Mm -hmm. It's okay to hurt. Boys. That was a really good episode. It's always good to see more of their backstory, where they came from, because all the events that led up to now that make them who they are. And their teacher is awesome. She and her husband are amazing. And it's good to see that they kind of have this sort of motherly figure in their life that can understand what they've gone through. I think that's something they really need. And I had a feeling when they said some, when they were talking about the baby being born in Rush Valley, that they had lost a kid. And I was right. And that's always heartbreaking. But this was a really interesting episode. It's just a really good source of information to be able to see how they started training with her. Um, how she taught them, how she herself committed the taboo, how their dad left them behind. We even got a glimpse of how their mom died. Yeah, we even got a glimpse of how their mom died, which is something that we, I mean, we heard about before, but we hadn't, like, fully touched on the subject, and it was interesting to see how much they blame their father for their mom's death. Which, considering how much he's in the intro, I assume he's gonna show up again and be more of an important part of the story, but more than anything, this just made me want to get on to the next episode, and I will, just not tonight, because I need to sleep. But thank you guys for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.